It would wipe them off the face of the earth. They would go so fast, they wouldn't even have a chance. Somali pirates killed four Americans recently. How would you handle it, President Donald Trump? It's, again, a total lack of respect for this country, and maybe even for the world. Give me one good admiral and a few ships. I would wipe them out so fast. Can you believe they're holding 40 ships, 800 and some odd men and women, I guess, and we do nothing. And these guys are like, this would be easy. You give me one good, smart, tough admiral and a few ships, I would wipe them off the face of the earth. They would go so fast, they wouldn't even have a chance. Can you believe that these guys are taking tankers that are a thousand feet long, that cost hundreds of millions of dollars, and just taking them with rowboats? It's hard to believe. One good admiral, that's all I want. There's been a union now unrest, mass protest in Wisconsin. It's flowing over to Indiana and Ohio, New Jersey about uh, ending collective bargaining rights and, and, and making unions, public unions, pay more into their health care. Well, really, not pensions. in New Jersey, because Chris Christie has not come out against collective He hasn't come out. How would you handle, though, the union situation in general? Well, I grew up with unions. New York is largely union. And I sort of spent a lot of time also in Florida, which is a right-to-work state, so it's a very different kind of a thing. But I've had great relationships with unions, and I've made good deals. I made a lot of money. I mean, I made many billions of dollars, and in many cases, I've been dealing with unions. So collective, really collective bargaining doesn't bother me so much. Now, I think each state is different. I see what the governor of Wisconsin is doing, and I fully understand what he's doing, and he wants to get things in order, and he wants to get it down, and this is the way he feels, and I can understand that. At the same time, you'll look at New Jersey and other places where they're not looking to take that stance. They'll bargain with the union in a collective fashion. So I can live both ways with it. I fully understand both sides of the argument. But again, coming from New York, I've made a lot of money with collective bargaining and dealing with unions through the collective bargaining process. Do you agree with how Governor Walker has handled the situation? Well, he's handling it the way he wants to handle it. I respect his toughness. We need tough people now in government. We cannot have the weak need people. You need tough people in government. Otherwise, we're going to have nothing but problems in this country. So he's going to straighten out Wisconsin. It may be horrible for him politically, or it may be good for him politically. Right now, I think it's very mixed. Nobody knows exactly what the end result to his future is. He's taking a very risky stance. But I do like the toughness. I do like the fact that he's willing to take on an issue. Whether I do it that way or not is different, and maybe I wouldn't do it that way, but he is a tough guy, and we need tough people in government. We need people that are going to fight, because otherwise, I mean, we're going to go the way of Greece and Spain and so many other countries seem to be going. Do you think public employee unions are paying their fair share when it comes to pensions and health care costs? Well, I think that's a different, I mean, you have some unions, the answer is absolutely yes, and you have others that are getting a free ride. There's no question about that. But you can say that, too, about individual people.